let's just take a moment to be grateful because I don't know about you guys but I'm quite focused I love making things happen I love creating stuff and I usually you know you buy a house and you're just like yeah keep going you know but I just want to just celebrate look this is the chapel and look it's in a most beautiful beauty can you see isn't that gorgeous isn't that just fabulous so the chapel there you go that's out to the main street and we're about five minutes walk from Harvey Nicks and I'm just going to show it to you again there you go it's kind of the classic dream isn't it oh and um somewhere you've got uh, there's an angel and there's devils on there and when I came to see the chapel when I first came to see it, because it was that sale at auction, I, I cycled down from my house, about like 10 minutes cycle from my house, and I just couldn't breathe, that's so beautiful. I mean, I love property anyway, I love buildings anyway, and I just couldn't breathe. Um, and then it was just one of those really fortunate moments where uh, um, I actually went up to the Commonwealth Games, which were in Glasgow, where my mum and dad live, and my coach Sonny uh, was lifting. And the night of the auction was the same night that Sonny was lifting. So I went into the Commonwealth Games Stadium, having told Ash how much maximum we should bid for the chapel. And I have to tell you guys, it, I told him a hundred grand more than we bought it for. Look. Um, so we're incredibly lucky. I've forgotten actually. Um, it, we either bought it for 130 or 135. I've actually forgotten. Uh, but I told them, okay, I told them just under 100 grand. I told them to go up to 220. Uh, and, it, and it's got planning permission, which we've already started work on to turn it into a lovely house. Now, at one point I thought, wouldn't it be the most amazing space? Look at it to, for an office. I mean, I thought it would just be to die for. Can you imagine? For the team to work here would just be fantastic. And then for you guys to come and get trained here, Oh my god it's just the thing of dreams isn't it for for property developers but I know it sounds really silly but the thing that's made me decide to change that plan was um, lack of parking so do you see straight there so it's actually been really nice to you fellas because lack of parking meant that you know we get a lot of people that drive two three four hours to come and see us which is lovely and um, being an old lady I was thinking but they're gonna arrive and they're gonna be like Suze where's the loo and they're gonna have to park in a main car park around the corner and just have 10 minutes faff so the most minute detail um, lack of parking meaning folks couldn't run in have a loot and have a cup of tea meant and it was for you guys it wasn't for my team because my team can cycle here um, that meant that I decided no we'll stick with the original plans and we'll turn it into a house but it's just a moment of celebration at the moment um we got some furniture stored in there as well as doing the renovation so I'm in to take um, to put some stickers on the furniture because we've got a few different service departments being set up now guys are gonna remove furniture tomorrow but I find I don't know if you guys do it I find myself forgetting to celebrate sometimes and forgetting to just go wow I'm so grateful so look super ridiculously grateful and it's five minutes away from city center from Harvey Nicks it's gonna be amazing when we finish I'll run you through the renovations during and then post See you soon. Oh, and uh, I look super scruffy because I've been weightlifting. Another thing to really, really be pleased about in property. I'm not stuck in an office. How cool is that? Okay, see you soon. Bye.